title of this writing is Seize the Day. Over the years, I've come to the opinion that Seize the Day is so yesterday. The concept has always been wrapped in the cloak of control, and anyone who's paying attention knows that control is an illusion. I'm a list maker. Listing for me makes goals that are on my mind both visible and actionable. That means I can see what I want and plan a course of action. Need I remind you of the quote from poet Robert Burns? The best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. Once you've made your plan of action, it's wise to adhere to the sports axiom. Let the game come to you. Instead, we often charge ahead and bulldoze whatever is in our way and call it seizing the day. Little do we realize that by using that manufactured energy, we also destroy the building blocks we need to make our plan a reality. Seizing the day will lead to a seizure. It's a directive without a direction, a bumper sticker that doesn't stick. Reminds me of a story. Too many years ago to remember, I worked with this bartender in a disco. He danced behind the bar to the beat of the music and had a flamboyant style of mixing and serving drinks. There was a lot of show and a lot of visible action, but people were delayed in getting their beverages. This backlog caused them to be fired because the plan was to serve all the patrons on time. Instead, he seized on the opportunity to show his stuff. Seizing the day has so much young energy attached to it. It has the delivery rate of a runaway beer truck. Certainly have a plan for your day, but attempting to grab it by the horns means you're likely to wind up covered with a lot of bullshit. Perhaps you'll get curious about exchanging the ancient Latin phrase carpe diem for a mantra that successful sports teams use. Have a flexible game plan. All the best, John.